Weiss. 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 So it is getting. I know it's coming now. My mic is not. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. All my energy wasted now. Ay ay yo. Check, check, check. Okay. Let's start again. Hey guys, what's up? A very very warm welcome to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a very good day. By the way, I'm super excited because we are back with. another amazing session of grade 7 and this is going to be a one shot revision of the chapter that is a light so what's up people are you all ready sir aapka student rachit kumar hi rachit kumar why don't you reply my doubt on instagram guys come on instagram i i only i mean mostly use it on weekends so you have to wait guys you have to wait i have a lot of pending messages on instagram okay uh, i am great kushal i am great hi shristi hi 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 Welcome to the session, guys. A very warm welcome to all of you. By the way, yes, we also have V quiz by the end of the session. V quiz B. Hey, Aj. So make sure that you guys listen to the class very carefully. One of the easiest chapter. If you had dreams of getting your name on the leaderboard in the V quiz, today is the right time to do it. So everybody, join in. Uh, you know the session. Okay, very quickly. the week quiz i'll tell you how to join by the end of the class <laughs> all right great 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 today is the birthday of amit ji who is amit ji i don't know da i appreciate the length you go to teach a complicated lesson into simple one thank you asp music do you hi chitra long time sir a class 8th ka hai nahi class 7th ka hai light light if you are there on instagram follow me guys Okay, let's go for the today's topic on a white blank screen that is not there. So light and reflection, we learn about that. We learn about spherical mirror and image formation, spherical lens and image formation, uses of lens, sunlight, components of white light, rainbow, prism, compact disc. Oh my God, so many topic. Can we do it? we will do it and if you guys are new here a very warm welcome to my class my name is mohan master teacher of science from vedantu a very warm welcome to vedantu young wonders as well if you are new here don't you forget to hit on that subscribe button right away hit a hit a hit a like on this video before we get started and also stay tuned for the end where we'll be having a week quiz okay you can do it no we can do it yes first one guys we all know that light is basically a form of energy which is responsible for the sense of sense of sight sense of sight what does that mean that means guys if there is no light around us we will not be able to see anything even if you have beautiful eyes like aishwarya rai blue eyes blue eyes hypnotize still you will not be able to see the things around you unless there is light light is very important right light is responsible for us to see the things around us for example you are able to see me because there is light <laughs> you are able to see the screen because there is light right so there are two things guys two types of objects present around us now one is your luminous objects now these are the objects which have their own light for example what are the luminous objects let let's go for the white board mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm let's go for the white board the new white board yes theek hai now so first we understood one important thing guys what is the one important thing that we all understood we 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 saw that light is the one which gives us sight okay wow that can be a song <laughs> all right now light helps in seeing the things around us now there are two types of objects now those objects are luminous and non luminous now these are the objects which emit their own light for example you have so many things you have bulb you have the sun you have the star you have the moon right correct correct 
am i correct yeah no correct sleep sleep everybody sleep moon it seems <laughs> moon is not a luminous object moon comes under non luminous object why because non luminous object just reflect the light they don't emit they reflect light okay yes so you have fireflies which have bioluminescence in reflecting light i am a non luminous object so one thing you always have to remember is if you have to see anything the object has to either dash light or dash light what does that mean it either has to either has to emit light or reflect light only then you will be able to see the object okay now this is the first rule so okay second rule is the light has to reach our eyes the light has to reach our beautiful eyes okay for example i am inside the house if i look up will i be able to see the moon no because i am not able the the light of the moon is not reaching my eyes if i turn on the flashlight below the desk will you be able to see it no because the light is not reaching your eyes so you'll only be able to see the objects around you if the light from that object reaches your eyes if it doesn't reach you can't see it okay so this we are clear with it now let's talk about reflection guys what exactly is reflection okay have you guys seen this uh, carom king videos like he'll close his eyes he's like chuck the 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 striker will go tuck 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 thousand times it will go and then finally hit the striker to the <laughs> have you guys seen i'm like dude how are you even doing it like different level no different level so what is reflection why are we talking about that is reflection is basically bouncing back of light or it can also be called as the change in the direction of light change in the direction of light so what does that mean suppose let's say we have a beautiful mirror let's take a mirror this is our beautiful mirror mirror is always represented by shading one side right it has a shaded part on one side okay let us say let us say guddu is standing here guddu has a torch light in his hand guddu has a torch in his hand okay now he is shining the light or he is pointing the light towards the mirror so light is coming from where from the torch light it's coming so hitting the mirror when light hits the mirror what happens to the light guys light once it hits the mirror or any reflective surface it bounces back or reflection happens okay reflection happens now let's do one thing let's draw a normal line imaginary line which is perpendicular to the mirror at the point of incidence guys see this ray which is falling on the mirror will be called as the incident ray what is it incident ray this is called as the reflected ray you have the incident ray you have the reflected ray i am drawing an imaginary line at the point of incidence where is the point of incidence here here is the point of incidence i am going to draw chak 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 this is the normal line so normal line is perpendicular perpendicular means what perpendicular means it forms what is the angle between the normal and the mirror guys this is the mirror this is the normal line what is the angle between the normal and the mirror it will be what is the angle da 90 degrees no it's perpendicular it's 90 degree got it 
cool then. Now you can see that the incident ray is forming an angle between normal that is this angle. So this angle that it is forming between the normal is called the angle of incidence. Now you can see reflected is also forming an angle with the incident ray sorry with the, with the normal ray that will be angle of reflection. So now are you guys all clear what is an incident ray what is a reflected ray what is a mirror what is a normal what is incident angle and reflected angle everybody. Sir please reply what do you have to reply. We'll talk about refraction Saikat wait wait. Clear with this. Okay. Now let's talk about one first rule. There are rules of reflection, guys. Okay. The first rule of reflection tells us the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Simple. So let us say the angle of incidence is 45 degrees. What will be the angle of reflection? 45 degrees. This is the first law of reflection. Got it? Now I'll give you a problem. Who wants to solve a problem? Do you guys want to solve a problem? Do you guys want to solve a problem now? Find the angle of reflection if the angle between the incident ray and the mirror And the mirror is, is 10 degrees. It's 10 degrees. Come on. Let's see who can find it. Come on, come on, come on. Very simple. Let's see who can find it. What is the angle of reflection? If the angle between the incident ray and the mirror is 10 degrees. Lot of you guys are giving 80, 80, 80. How come, da? How come? Very simple. According to first law, first of all, we all know. Listen carefully. First of all, we all know what? They have given us one thing. They have given us this angle. That is 10 degrees. We know the entire angle. What is the entire angle? It's perpendicular. So it will obviously be 90 degrees. So you will have to do 90 degree minus 10 degree. So this minus this will give you this will give you our incident ray that will be 80 degrees. So if incident angle is 80 reflected is also 80 because according to the first law the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. That is the first law of reflection. Understood everybody? Clear? Okay. Second law I want you all to focus. Okay. How many of you guys like ice creams? Do you guys like ice creams? You guys like ice creams? You guys like ice creams? Cornetto, you guys like Cornetto? Yeah. It looks like this. Right. Yeah. Please explain how is it 80? Ayya yo, what is this da? 80 how? Better normal or mirror ke beach mein angle kitna hai? Oh, perpendicular hai. Is liye angle hota hai 90 degree. Check hai. Normal or in, uh, mirror ka dono ka angle hai 90 degree. Check hai. Okay. Now, oh log hum log ko already de chuka hai. <laughs> the angle between the incident ray and the mirror. That is 10 degrees. So if total is 90, if total is 90, if they have given us 10 degrees, the remaining is how much? 90 minus 10, 80. If angle of incidence is 80, angle of reflection is also 80. Kaise? Aise? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, let's talk about ice cream. Imagine you have an ice cream cone in front of you. Okay. Let us draw a normal line. Let us imagine. There is a, just imagine this is the incident ray. Imagine this is the incident ray. This is the reflected ray. Let's draw the mirror also. Okay. Let's draw the normal line also. Imagine the cone is there guys. Imagine the cone is there. 
let's draw the normal line also okay imagine it is a 3d cone okay guys we know that a cone has multiple lines from the same point do you guys all agree does it have multiple points like this it's a 3d object guys so imagine it has multiple points like this multiple lines coming from the so it will be together no it will be it will be like this right so many so many lines they all together make up that 3d object isn't it isn't it ha huh. suppose suppose let us say let us say ayyo 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 ha huh. let me draw the remaining part okay now listen to me very carefully suppose you have a laser here guys you have a laser laser is pointing the light this will be your incident ray now i am telling you hey find me the reflected ray will you be able to find the reflected ray among all these lines in a 3d object will you be able to find the reflected ray among all this all the lines it will be difficult guys because you can't use your first law first law tells angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection but like in there are so many lines with same angle this line also has the same angle every line has the same angle kyunki it is a cone so in that case we cannot use the first law we need a second law what is the second law listen to me very carefully the second law states that the angle of incident sorry the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal all the three at the point of incidence okay they all lie on the same plane what do you mean by this guys if you insert a paper in the cone imagine you are inserting a paper in the cone imagination you can't actually insert imagine you are inserting a paper if you insert it all the three lines should be on this paper because each paper will be a plane do you understand each paper will be a plane so by this you can find out what is the incident ray what is the reflected ray all the three should be falling on the paper okay it will be like this on the top view this is your incident ray this should be your reflected ray this two lines should be on this if you insert a paper like this they should be on the same plane your imagine the top view guys imagine the top view is like this this is the top of the cone this is your midpoint this is your incident ray this is your reflected ray so you can see they are in the same plane they are in the same there are multiple lines like this multiple lines are there but these two lines are in the same plane these two lines are in this this is your incident this is your reflected ayyo now understood this are in this again this will be in one plane this incident ray and this reflected will be in one plane now this incident ray and this reflected will be in one plane so every line will be in its different plane okay and that is your second law of reflection guys i hope you guys are clear let's go back to the ppt now okay this is done so reflection of light done or the two two laws are done guys see second laws the angle of incidence uh, sorry the not the angle of incidence the the incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all the three should lie on the same plane that's all that is your second law of reflection so reflection is done okay theek hai spherical mirrors and image formation what is a sphere guys you guys all know what is a sphere what is a sphere sphere looks like this you all agree sphere looks like this 
let's let so if you cut a sphere like this you will get two sides one side which will be curved inside one side which will be curved outside so since they are part of a sphere they are called spherical mirrors there are two types of spherical mirrors what are they two types of spherical mirrors one is a concave mirror then convex mirror what do you do in a cave guys in a cave you go inside right so if the reflective surface is inside this is the shaded part no reflection there but inside there is reflection if the reflective side is inside then it is a concave mirror okay let's talk about convex in convex what happens the reflective side is outside so the inner part will be shaded the outer surface is reflective this is a convex mirror understood very simple okay concave convex mirror now let us see the types of images formed in concave and convex mirror guys convex mirror sorry concave mirror can form all the types of images it can form small comma enlarged it can form inverted and erect it can form real and virtual all the three types of images are possible in concave mirror in convex mirror what is possible only one type of mirror is po uh, image is possible that will be that will be what small erect and virtual this is the only type of image possible in the convex mirror okay now applications of concave mirror where all do you use concave mirror concave mirror is used by i'll write it here okay apps applications it is used by ent doctors used by dentist used as reflectors in the torch light in the headlight everywhere whereas convex mirror is used as a side view mirror in your vehicles understood guys this is all about spherical mirrors let's talk about spherical lenses now okay now what is a lens a lens is a glass which is transparent and a uh, refraction happens in lenses what is refraction bending of light happens there are two types of lenses one is con vex lens next is con cave lens convex lens is like your idli guys you know how idli looks like right convex lens is like an idli it is also called as converging lens because light rays converge in the convex lens light rays let's say 1 2 3 light rays will converge at one point and that point is called what what is this point called focus concave looks like your vada you are ulund vada okay it is also called as diverging lens because light rays will diverge understood guys yeah you have convex lens and concave lens and what are the types of images formed guys it is just opposite to mirrors in the mirror we saw concave forms all the type of images here the convex forms all the images okay all the concave again only only small virtual 
and erect in the concave lens got it simple guys appa let's go for the this thing this is done and basically sunlight consists of seven different colors so sunlight is not white it is made up of seven different colors it is called as the spectrum seven, the band of colors is called spectrum what is the band of colors with jor v i b g y o r or uh, uh, the process of splitting of white light into its component colors is called as dispersion it can be done with the help of a prism okay this is the band of seven colors guys why can't they see the chat ha huh. got it now uh, this also happens naturally in the in the in, in the atmosphere there is a raindrop which acts like a prism when light ray enters into the raindrop the raindrop acts like a prism and splits the white light into seven different colors forming the rainbow okay it is vibgior violet right violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so red will be at the top and violet will be at the bottom so it is v i g by v i g uh, so v i b g y o r okay this is done guys right same thing and plane mirror is always erect same size virtual okay plane mirror is where we go and you know get ready you know hamma Con convex lens is converging lens. Same thing we saw, guys. See, this is the principal axis, the midline of the lens. You have the focus or focal plane here. The focal length is basically the distance between the lens and the focus. That is your focal length. Okay. Then your focus point is here. Okay. Lenses are used in microscopes, telescopes, magnifying glass, cameras, projectors. a uh, binoculars a uh, spectacles torch lights many places okay let's go for some v quiz now guys are you all ready my throat is gone <laughs> ready for some v quiz sir neevu telugu maatladu what maataadu tiddira nan telugu maatadtilla english alli maatadta idini yaka artha agilva ishtot nanu english alli maatadta idde telugu alla adu okay we will play the v quiz now guys everybody सर एक साथ कैसे करें दोनों दोनों क्या हो गया वॉट इज एपनिंग ओके द कोड गाइज लेट्स गो फॉर योर वीक विज ओके हियर इट इज गो टू डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट वीक विज एंड यूज द कोड डबल टू सेवन टू सिक्स फोर ओके और यू कैन चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन देर विल बी अ लिंक बिलो माई वीडियो वेर इज माई वीडियो इट इज हियर सी फोर्टी फाइव लाइक्स अयो यो सो सैड I thought there will be hundred likes. What is this, guys? Here, click on this link. Okay, click on this link. Okay. Quick, quick. The link is right here. I need hundred likes, and we'll start with the week quiz. Come on. Come on. Come on. sir how to prove we already proved no by a problem we proved it done 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 tamil la pesunga arnav tamil la enna tamil tamil la enna pesuradhu solle why you set your hair always adu mudi kalanjite irukla so adanal adikadi set pannite irukanum appo dhaan konjam alaga theriyuven illana alaga theriyamaatala Okay, let's start, guys. Sir, you know how good you are. Channa good you are. Nim dai bolli channa good you are. Salpa like mat bidi, subscribe mati. Innu channa good you are. Hmm? Kuch samaj ne aya? Kya hi kar? Kya hi bolu? Okay, okay. Lot of languages. My my brain is like confusing with all the languages. I'm telling you. Cute boy, stop. Block somebody. Block this guy da. Block. How do you block? I only I can block her. Huh? Whatever, cute boy has been blocked. <laughs> so block such people, guys. Block such people. Okay. <laughs> okay. Come on, guys. Everybody, join right now, quick. 
go to www.vquiz.in and enter the code double two seven two six four. That is your code. Sir, you know how many languages? Five languages. Komal has a doubt. Tell me. Ninga alaga erkinge. Romba nandri. Ninglu romba alaga erkinge. Sirichite erenga. Innu romba alaga erpinge. Number gale. Sirichite erenga. Okay, we'll start, guys. We'll start. Not getting verification code. You will get check check. Sir, five minutes in Hindi. Five minutes के लिए एक दबाव. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay, I'm going to start the quiz in last thirty seconds. I'm going to give you thirty seconds. I'm going to start the quiz. Do you have one more class after this? Whose class is the next class, guys? Do you have a class on YouTube? Upcoming classes. Oh, you have. Sana ma'am's class is next. We have to complete. Come on, come on. Ten days challenge, guys. Benchmark test is going to happen. Okay, so come on, come on, quick. Eh? Hmm? Quick, quick. We'll start. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Here is your first question on the screen. Ten questions. Appa, come on. Why can't we see anything in the dark room? Everything is black in color. Our eyes do not work in the darkness. No light reaches our eyes. All the light gets scattered. Why can't you see anything in the dark room? Cool nahi, cool nahi raha hai, please. Uh, Amisha, beta, see people. If it's not working, try it in incognito mode. Try opening it in a new browser and try. It'll work. It'll work. It should work. See, a lot of people have joined already. it should work okay because no light reaches our eyes correct guys leaderboard ravi kumar neha sohini sonika anirudh pihu riddhi ashriya Rajpreet Aditya good job you everybody you guys have all done very well here comes your next question on the screen come on come on come on in a concave mirror the reflecting surface is dash plane surface bulging out surface uneven surface bent in surface in a concave mirror what is the reflecting surface Hmm. Come on, come on. Guys, concave. What do you do in a cave? You go inside. So it is bent in surface. It's a bent in surface. Why confusion? Huh? Okay, we have a uh, Ravi Kumar, Riddhi, Sonika, Saikat, Rajpreet, Chakraborty. Noshin, Barin, Aniket, Mohammed, Faraz, Manya. Great job. Next question. Dash light deviates the least, while the dash light deviates the more. Red, violet, red, blue, violet, red, red, green. What deviates the least? What de deviates the least? What deviates the most? <coughs> what deviates the least guys deviates the most deviating i can see there is a confusion between c and a what is deviation guys you all know what is a deviation right deviation means that that curve we know that the red the red has the, the red is the top right so it deviates less whereas the violet at the beginning deviates very sharp more Okay, so it's option A. That's the right answer. May I allow you to chala bow now? Sonika, Saikat, Noshin, Mohammed, Manya, Sohini, Ravi Kumar, Riddhi, Aditya, Siddharth. Great job, guys. Next question. Come on. Question number four on your screen. 
The colored band of light obtained by dispersion of light is called what? What is that color band of light? Image spectrum convergence scattering. What is the code? 227264. Come on, come on, quick. Is it called spectrum? The band of light? Is it called spectrum, guys? Of course, it is called as spectrum. Very good leaderboard, guys. So we have whom on the chat? We have Sonika, Saikat, Manya, Aditya, Siddharth, Riddhi, Mihir. Anirudh, Barin and Aniket, great job. Next question, come on, come on, quick. A concave mirror can be used as what? Concave mirror, a magnifying mirror, a torch reflector, a dentist mirror, a rear view mirror. A concave mirror can be used as dash. This question is a little, little wrong, guys. Don't mind, okay? A concave mirror, guys. What is the answer? Is it a rear view mirror, guys? Cannot be used. Oh my God, yes. It can cannot be used as a rear view mirror because in rear view mirror, we only use convex mirror. That is what I told you, no? I was reading wrong. I was reading wrong. My bad. My bad. Let me show you. I have written it. Where is it? Ha, see? Concave, convex mirror as a side view mirror. Isn't it? Hmm. Whereas in concave mirror, ENT, dentist, reflectors, everything. I was I was reading it wrong. My bad. Next. Sonika, Saikat, Siddharth, Aniket, Anirudh, Shrikar, Shreya, Manya, Shrutika, Deep. Great job. Next question, guys. Which of the following statement is or are correct? Light is a form of energy. If you shine a torch on a dark night, you will be able to see the beam of light produced by the torch traveling in a straight uh, into darkness. If you look at the lighted candle through a straight pipe with one eye, we can see the light of the candle flame, all of the above. <laughs> if you can read as fast as me, you will be able to answer it quickly. Come on, come on, quick. Six minutes till your next class. Come on, guys. Time's up and the right answer would be all of the above, guys. <laughs> People were so, you know, so much in hurry. So light is a form of energy. Light travels in a straight line. You can see it through a straight pipe. Sonika, Saikat, Aniket, Shreya, Shrutika, Deep, Manya, Sanskriti, Siddharth and Anirudh. Next question, question number seven on your screen. An erect and enlarged image is formed by dash. Only convex mirror, concave mirror, only plane mirror, both concave and convex. Erect and enlarged. Big image. Erect and enlarged, guys. Guys, we saw... A convex mirror can only form small virtual erect. So uh, only a concave mirror will be able to form the enlarged image, right? Isn't it? What is this, guys? Okay. Sonika, Saikat, Deep, Anirudh, Aniket, Riddhi, Shreya, Sachin, Shrutika, Chetan, Manya. Next question. Question number eight on your screen. If you are standing two meters away from a plane mirror, the distance between you and your image, what is the distance? Two meters, four meters, six meters, eight meters. So there is a mirror. You are here. Your image is here. The distance between the object, this is the image, between you and the mirror is 2 meters. This will also be 2 meters. The total, the distance between you and the image will be 2 plus 2, 4 meters. Okay. 
got it guys it is 4 meters <laughs> sonika saiket anirudh riddhi shreya manya deep sanskriti siddharth and aditya ninth question on your screen hi sanskriti great in a in a convex spherical mirror reflection of light takes place where a flat surface a bent in surface bulging out surface uneven surface in a convex mirror where does the reflection take place convex guys convex the reflection takes place in the bulging guys convex is out da concave is in so it is bulging out surface okay concave cave is always inside okay sonika saikat shreya sanskriti manya deep anirudh mihir riddhi tanisha one last question on your screen guys come on bujan pehli bar given one mirror each by the teacher buju found his image to be erect and the same size whereas pehli found her image to be erect and smaller This means the mirrors of Bujo and Pehli are what? <laughs> come on, come on, simple guys. I am still here, so give me your right answers. So Bujo's image is erect and same size. That is plane mirror. Pehli's image is smaller in size. That means it is a con. Vex mirror. Ay ay yo. What is this, guys? Convex mirror gives you small and erect. No. Right. What is this? Final leaderboard. Okay, we have Sonika at the top. Very good, Sonika. Then we have Saikat, Deep Rajan. You guys have all done amazingly well, guys. Congratulations to all of you. And guys, if your name is not there, not to worry because it's all about learning and fun. So I hope all of you guys had fun learning with me today. Uh, do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, share, like, do everything on this video. Okay, I'll meet you guys all in the next class, guys. So until then, this is me, Mohan, signing off. Do join in for the next class by Sana Ma'am. Okay, see you all in the next class. Bye bye. Lots of love. Bye bye.